Welcome to Photoshop and today's quick tip of the day. So today we have the crop tool and so the crop tool is located right here. The quick key to get there is the letter C. And this little tool actually has a name. It's called the Scaleograph and so this was used back when we had film. So to activate the crop tool we're just going to go ahead and click on it and it is going to by default now in 2019 default to original ratio meaning that when you come in and crop you now don't have to hold down any quick keys it automatically keeps the original ratio of your image now you can change your image ratio so if i want a four by five i can hit four by five and i can if i want to flip this right now it's in a portrait mode if i want landscape i can hit these little flip flop bars up here and rotate that you can also come out here and kind of grab this edge and pull it so pull it down I'm kind of pulling at an angle so this I'm grabbing it and pulling this way or pulling this way to sort of flip that ratio to do that manually or you can just come up here and do that now ratio is interesting because it's just changing the ratio it is not sizing your image so let's say I make this 5 by 7 like this and we'll go ahead and apply that if you come in here now and you look at this image, you'll notice it's not a 5 by 7 image, all right? It just changes the ratio. It does not crop your image. So we're going to go back in time. So the next thing that we can do is actually come into our image and we'll come up here and notice there's W, height, and resolution. This is how you crop in size. So I will make this image six and you need to put inches in there so it knows which one to do and four inches because that's going to be the same ratio and then I'll put 300 pixels per inch and now if I apply it which I can do by the check mark or return or double clicking inside any of those seem to work we'll apply that and now if I go to image image size you will see if I go into inches that this is a four by six image that cropped and sized at the same time so you have your choice of just changing the ratio or actually changing the ratio and the image size at the same time so you can have some custom ones that I have down here um, and you can change that whenever you want and if you want to get rid of it where you can come up here and just hit clear and that will erase it and now it's back to ratio and it will allow me to crop any size that I want. So one very important thing besides that ratio is this delete crop pixels. So if you select delete crop pixels and then you crop your image, it actually deletes those pixels. They are not there anymore. I would suggest in most cases that you do not do that. If you uncheck it, and now we'll just kind of go back in time, and you crop your image, and we'll apply that. But then we go back to crop, you'll see the image is still there. It hasn't actually removed the pixels. So if you have delete crop pixels unchecked, it always keeps your image. So if you do need to go back and change your crop, the pixels are still there. So since we're right here and this is kind of going to work, um, they have a new function that's been out in Photoshop for a little bit called Content Aware. And so what I'm going to do is go actually outside where this image doesn't have any information and I'm going to hit Apply. And you're going to see what's going to happen here. You can see it has used content aware to fill in that area. Now it did not do a good job for some reason. So we're going to just go back in time. I'm going to go ahead and click this. So I had a crop on there. So we'll just go ahead. So what it's going to do now, it's going to try to fill in this area using content aware. And because this is pretty simple, it should not have too much of a problem getting it to be accurate. And you can see, there we go. So if you ever run into a thing where you're like, oh, I wish I had a little more space up top, you just make a little more space. Make sure content aware up here is selected and then hit return. And then just like that, it's going to create that area and fill it in. And it usually does a pretty good job as long as you don't have like a lot of detail 
like we saw right here, it can kind of warp it and screw that up. So the next thing that we have here is the straighten tool. So for the straighten tool, if you select it, and then you're gonna come down here and you see, notice we have a level. So I'm gonna click and hold. So I'm gonna click, hold, and drag a line over, all right? So this is setting my horizon line and let go. It's automatically gonna rotate and make that level. So if I wanted to do that with this, which I know is not um, straight up and down, but we'll do this. It will rotate the image so that this line is perfectly up and down. Now it's kind of messed up everything else because this building is actually crooked. So that is the straighten. We also have different grids. So you can see right now we have rule of thirds and I'm going to go back just so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, we can come in here. We can change this to a grid. We can change this to a diagonal. We can change this to a triangle. We can change this to the golden ratio. We can change this to the golden spiral of Fibonacci's number. So all that stuff, any sort of compositional thing, I basically have always only used rule of thirds and we're just gonna keep it like that. So you have a settings here. Um, this will allow you to, like if you want to show uncropped area or uh, auto preview, any of that stuff, enable crop shield it's just showing you different aspects or changing the way the overlays work i basically leave it at default so we went over delete crop pickles and content aware so up here you have an undo everything you have an exit out and then an apply current crop to that you can also come in here double click inside that will um crop your image and you can also hit return slash enter on your keyboard so that's basically the crop tool hopefully that was helpful if you have any comments or questions you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe